How hot is hot? Every man has a higher self and a lower self. With your higher self, you can achieve greatness and things beyond this planet. With your lower self, you get your basic needs, but also to create darkness. Find your balance, King. <laughs> Hotep Children of the Sun, and welcome. Your number one station focused on rebuilding our nation. WMLR, More Life Radio, proudly presents Brother, 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 a show dedicated to the upliftment and encouragement of the Melanated Kings. Yo, I ain't here for playing around, now wear the crown. King of New York, nah, now nah, how that shit sound? King of the coast, nah, I cover more ground. King of oneself, yeah, that's how I get down. Yeah, my skin brown, that's that melanin. Ha, I'm wearing it proud, it ain't no telling when. Ha, they might come around screaming irrelevant. Ha, ain't gonna get down and plant the evidence. But I ain't here for playing around, now wear the crown. I ain't here for playing around, now wear the crown. I ain't here for playing around, now wear the crown. I ain't here for playing around, now wear the crown. Descended the kings and queens, and we don't know what that mean. Turn the palace to the projects and shatter the steam. But I'm here to let it be known, no matter the scene. They can't take royalty from your being. It's embedded in your DNA and your genes. Thousand dollar sneakers and jeans. You could invest in yourself and your dreams. Is you hear me now? And pedestal folks letting you down. Since James Brown said I'm black and I'm proud, they've been pumping us with the opposite. Dividing the conquers pretty obvious. Misled and misguided. No, I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believes that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. Every time, anytime you beg another man to set you free, you will never be free. Freedom is something that you have to do for yourself. That we are really, really ready and willing to pay the price that is necessary for freedom. Our people will always be walking around here second class citizens or what you call 20th century slaves. What price are you talking about? The price of freedom is death. Not see the smarter, the harder, the battle. Classism, blacks prison and slaughter like cattle. Divide and conquer, been a minor mantra. Put you in front of your just honor, for your mama, for your first time. The average disciples and little white diamonds. Turned into hashtags, shit feeling like gag dad because of my pain and I swear this stuff is ridiculous. Living in these conditions is hard enough to help make sure that the history of this country is discouraged. Convention teaches that we were slaves and never brought up position. You can't send your child to the enemy and think the enemy will be your child. So since you've made no effort at all to come together with those who want to give their children proper education, proper history to what's going on, now that your children don't know the history, don't be screaming at the same time. Okay, let's take another break. And when we come back, I would encourage you to speak up more forthrightly. <laughs> with your host... Kansu, Sheshmu, Amu, 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 Enter, Hudi, 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 Burger, 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 Exclusively on WMLR. Without further ado, our hair, the king, king, king. Let's go. One, two. Uh, WMLR, more like radio. Welcome, family. It's a wonderful Saturday afternoon. So glad to be here with us. Go Blue today sets it off in most of college football. Of course, we take on our first rival we come to, our first rival at four. When you're the most winningest football program, 
in the in the history of the thing, you got a target on your back. Would you would you agree with that? Thing? Would you, would you not agree? With that? Yes, man. Uh, I understand with my mighty Patriots how that feels. Yes, I, I applaud Michigan and their legacy as they understand the title of being the best to ever do it. Yes, yes. yes. It's resources, facts. Look it up. All you got to do is Google it. Google is your friend. <laughs> you under a lot more life radio. Welcome, family. It's Saturday morning. You are locked in and tuned in to your number one station dedicated to black emancipation, more life radio. And it's brother, brother, brother with myself. So who do the fly Virgo? Happy Virgo season to you. And my main man right here, Mr. Kansu Seshmu a moon. Ladies and gentlemen, a moon. That right, that right. On behalf of Papa Legba, Baba uh, Ogun, Ibashe, Ibashe, I say O oh, to all my beautiful black people out there. Yes, indeed. Hope everybody's feeling good. Thank you for joining us. Uh, as you know, we, we're going to be making some changes, right? So this is going to be our live show day. We're going to do a little short show. We're not going to hold you up real long. Just give you some quick hitters and have just a little bit of barbershop conversation as we do it here on Brother, Brother, Brother. And man, Kansu, a lot going on, man. Aretha Franklin, uh, the funeral, everything uh, went down yesterday and it was a 10 hour funeral, brother. 10 hours. Yes. Uh, yes. Let's start right there, man. Okay. So was that excessive or was that, you know, was that what it was supposed to be? 10 hours for the queen. That's so. No, that, that was ridiculous. But, you know, shout out to the mighty queen. I say to the ancestor. She, she, she changed the scope of music. But that funeral, that was a telethon, bro. Woo. I, I don't even man. know who sat in their chair for 10 hours. And it was some of everybody was there. Uh, Barrican, I saw Barrican, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Bill Clinton. Uh, but some of it, Maxine Walters was there. Uh, so many different people were there, man. And I don't know. I, I fell asleep. So I, let me be honest. I didn't watch it all the way through or. I really couldn't tell you what part I left off. I just, I've seen clips, Kansu, that caught my attention. And I, I think we were kind of talk, bouncing off of that. You don't watch these types of things, right? Explain no. down how you were breaking that down to me, bro. Well, before we go to break, I'll say this, you know. Uh, it's, it's, it's propaganda. It's an opportunity for people to come in and promote themselves, try to get sound bites and sound clips and, you know, super stellar performances and try to market themselves back in the media and a lot of them to tell uh, lies because uh, the queen, Aretha Franklin, peace be upon her, uh, was not there to voice her opinion. She was very outspoken from what I know. Now, I don't know her personally, so I'm only speaking from a secondary aspect. She was raised in Detroit anyway. Yeah, she was She was raised in Detroit. Some of those people that were speaking, she probably didn't care for that much. Who knows? But what I do know is in her posthumous um, position, we honor her as an ancestor. But I, I wish that we would do things more of an African nature as African people and venerate our, our legends and ancestors while they're alive. Like do a 10-hour tribute to Aretha so she can witness it and carry that with her to the afterlife. Right. I, I I don't know why we don't practice that, King. I wish we did. I really do. We 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 become. Yeah, we be getting gotten to a point where we we get we take things for granted, Kansu. Yes, sir. We take things and people and each other for granted, and, and I don't know. We get caught up in other things, and really, these days it's a self thing. You got people getting caught up in self and just selfish. Mm -hmm. conscientiously mm -hmm. uh, conscientiously they don't understand that energy is real and when you project it you're going to get that energy back they don't get that part mm -hmm. you know, it's all me, me 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 I I I so I think that has a lot to do with it and then when they transition they say oh man they pass away you know, and to me funerals are fake anyway you know uh, 
everybody says the same thing it's it's like robotic especially if it's your loss you know a family member you lost or somebody you lost close to you and you're sitting there and they're walking by you saying the same thing hey, sorry for your loss sorry for your loss god bless you god bless you god bless you sorry for your loss <laughs> and, right. and shout out to brother deshaun peace brother he made brother. a notation of three wardrobe changes yeah, man. And Sean and I went back and looked at them rims on that Maserati, brother. Woo. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm coming, Columbus. I'm on my way. I'm coming. And uh yeah, me and my brother gonna roll around in that in that Maserati, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Thank you for joining us, man. Yeah, Kansu. I the whole funeral thing is to me is just a put on, it's a show. And especially if you have social status like the Queen did for all of her beautiful contributions uh she had a lot and and we appreciate that it yeah it's better to we got to get in the mindset where let's honor these people when they're here with us i totally agree with you brother yes well, look, man. when you're looking at the time let's, yes, let's do man let's do what we do raise the vibrations saturday morning it's saturday it's saturday <laughs> yeah. yes sir yes sir well guess what man we gonna raise the emotions like my soul brother number one said, man. We gonna do something a little special, I man. You know, man. The key to who these dug in the crates, man. Something a little special for you guys in honor of the king yeah. of pop, MJ, Michael Burn Jordan. Yeah. That's right, WMLR, brother, brother, Go. brother, y'all. We'll be right back.
Bull season, baby. Concho. It's September, boy. How you feeling? Man, I feel with my hands all the time. You know, all is well. As you can tell. Oh, man. I'm not for sale. Let's Word. do it well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a groove right there. That's a Saturday mutant, Saturday morning music. Cleaning up. You cleaning up and you got us playing in the background. Hope you enjoyed that one. It's the remix to PYT. Man, Hope you that, was, that was a banger. That was a banger. That was hot. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah. For Will I am. WMLR, More Life Radio. All right, Consu. So we were talking about the funeral, man. And uh, I know you had some things that you had on your mind about it. So I'm going to yield the floor to the gentleman from Chicago. Peace, Chicago. What it do? Man, look, man. You know, I, for those who didn't know, Aretha Franklin, the icon of icons. This, this woman, uh, when it comes to like, accomplishments man she was she's a she was born in memphis tennessee man 1942 she was actually a gifted singer and pianist a lot of people don't remember how well she played the piano man. she's done some live performances with the piano bro she did this duet with um liberace it was unbelievable i couldn't find it i was looking for it um she toured with her father you know, traveling revival show because the father was a, a, a minister. And then she um, she actually signed to Columbia Records in New York, you know, when she became a little older. And then she went on to, re to, re to release, like, so many popular songs, man. I, we, I can't even start with how many songs she's released. Um, 1987, she was the first female, period, not black, period, to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In 2008, she won her 18th Grammy. So she's one of the most honored artists in Grammy history. Okay, we're not talking about just a regular artist, y'all. We're not talking about somebody running a meal. And what made this uh, funeral uh, um, celebration very poignant and special, it was some outspoken people, man, that said some really deep things. Michael Dyson. I uh, got a clip for you guys. And Judge Mathis, yes. brother Tahuti, got a clip for you guys. They said some serious, they, they said some things. Yeah. They said some things, Kane. Hey, but, but before you do that, I, I like what you said, you know, earlier. You spoke about it. And listen, l let me put this disclaimer on it, right? This is not, if you like going to funerals, <laughs> that's what I said. If you like going to funerals, if you're one of those people that go to everybody's funeral, we're not knocking you if you do. It's just speaking in our opinion. We're in the barbershop, black men talking. This is what we do. And so, yeah, it, it's a show without question. It, it is. But, and I like what you said earlier, you know, you make all these claims about how well you knew this person, but that person is not there to corroborate your story. You know, they're not, not there to say, yeah, that, ha that really happened. But I like what they, I, like what Judge Mathis and, and, and then, of course, Dyson just, he's a wordsmith. He he lays it all the way down. Uh, <laughs> Judge yeah. Mathis talked about his last conversation, as you will hear. I don't want to get too much of it away if you didn't see it. So go ahead, Consul, do your thing. I just wanted to add that in there, King. Yeah, man. Well, you know what, man? We're going to start off with Judge Mathis. We're going to play a sound bite from Judge Mathis, um, a very poignant character, man. He is, you know, he kind of revolutionized and gave us a, a, a perspective in law that we needed at, at, at a time and period in his um, in his greatness, man. So here's Judge Mathis, man, um, breaking down his memories and recollection of uh, the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin. For her strength. And she was Cut my mic, somebody going to jail. Y'all know play that now. Don't, 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 don't go to jail now. I, I got, I'm gonna take these 60 seconds, but, but don't get yourself in trouble. But I was privileged to receive her advice and counsel in the area of politics and civil rights. As you all know, that she was deep in that and she wanted me to use my public life in that manner. And so one time we were discussing some of the many things 
that we come about, and she asked me about Reverend Jackson. You, you talk to your buddy, or you talk to the good Reverend? That means she wasn't getting along with him. Then, uh, like, like siblings do. Then a couple months later, I talked to her. Hey, I talked to Jesse. I said, oh, he must be doing what she wants him to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's on the other side. He's marching for this. He's doing a great job. And so she would call me quite frequently, about monthly. And I, most for the most part, had to wait on her call because the few times I'd call her, I'd get my feelings hurt because her number had been changed. And so I'd have to wait those two months or a month or however long before she would call me and give me the new number. But when she did, she always spoke to me about how to use my platform to fight for our people. Indeed, our last conversation, our last conversation, and I probably shouldn't speak on this, but because the governor was here earlier. But our last conversation was about the Flint water crisis. Where we know now that the governor's office ordered that the city of Flint be taken over. They changed the water supply and it poisoned the people. So we talked about how in the last couple of months they stopped distributing bottled water. Have not replaced the pipes, maybe 5%, but distributing bottled water. So we discussed it and I she said, yeah, they stopped distributing the water, Greg. I said, well, yeah, Sister Ray, I may have to get on up there and fight again, and such, et cetera. I say, but you know, they got me a little bit last time on television. They said, the judge, you out of your, oh, you out of order. That's not your fight. Stay on television and he, he, and ha, ha, and entertain us. So I said, I don't know, Ray. She said, what are you, you scared? You're supposed to be from Detroit. What you scared of? So in that vein, her last words to me were taken, and this is the honesty, this is honesty, the case. Her last words were taken from the greatest song she's performed. Somehow it made me feel that she respected me because the words she gave when I told her, okay, I'll go back up there. She said, yeah, Greg, you go back up there and you sock it to him. So in honor of my sister, I'm going to Flint and I'm gonna sock it to him, sock it to him, sock it to him. Yes, yes, man, WMLR, brother, 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 wow. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's Vin that's veneration. You know, I, I respect the brother, man. I respect him for for his his poignant words and his direct words, man. Now, like we said, some controversial stuff was said in pockets in this in this uh, ten hour funeral. Some real controversial stuff, man. I mean, so brother, I mean, what was your take on Judge Mathis, man? What what stuck out to you about Judge Mathis's um, you well, know, account? The was real you know it, it felt real like that was uh like when he said her number would change and he wouldn't talk to her for a couple months he had to wait to hear from her you know that seemed like something aretha franklin would do you know what i mean it, it's just kind of like that that midwest mentality sometimes mm. no matter how close friends i have some very close friends Kansu, that i might not talk to for months maybe even years but they know that they are still my friend and I hold a, a really close space to, for them in my heart. So that just seemed real to me. It seemed like a real conversation. Uh, it also spoke to her conscious 
awareness right uh, cultural awareness of things that needed to be attended to and she was local you know for years it's always been a, a kind of a competition between Flint and Detroit mm -hmm. so to have all the love coming out of Detroit shout out to uh, New Era Detroit my main man brother uh, Ed Horton and uh, uh, all the other uh, people that put that together and keep that movement going they get a lot of bad rep but they're carrying out their assignments so it, it made me appreciate her from that perspective Gosh, it was a beautiful story and a great inspiration I think it should be uh, to everybody that Aretha was aware of what's going on like the poison water in Flint that by the way is still not drinkable they're trying to put one over and say that it is but that was just so they could stop providing the bottled water this is real what's going on in Flint people don't really take the you know, take it a lot real or pay attention to it because it's not happening in your area. Imagine if your water was poison causing death and you couldn't drink it or do anything with it. Imagine that. But yeah, it was beautiful, man. Well, you know, Thursday, make sure you guys tune in because this is not a notion that uh Judge Mathis and, and the King Tahuti is talking about. Drinking water has been shut off at all Detroit public schools. As of August 31st um, or August 29th, there was a story in Crane's Detroit business. 34 schools have been shut down because of lead and contaminated water. We're going to talk about that Thursday. So tune in, guys. This, wow. is, this is not a joke. This is some serious, serious problems going in the state of Michigan. My heart goes out to those parents and those children that are missing their education because of some damn water. Man. Water. We can't, that's that's ridiculous. Real. So we'll talk about that, man. Gentrification is real. They yeah. are these inner city areas back. There are resources in those areas now. What we refer to as the hood and we don't put anything into it, they mm -hmm. are back for those areas, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of them have very well-built homes that they can put back on the market and make money. That's what it's all about. That's right, man. But look, it's, it, it, it's another person. Uh-huh. Michael Dyson King. Yes. Everybody, for some reason, they don't like him. I, I don't get it. I don't get it, King. I do. I, I, I don't get it. I get it. <laughs> I, he, he's an alpha male. Uh -huh. That is very outspoken. He's a wordsmith and uh -huh. does things and uses, he's very selective with how he uses his words. That's a wordsmith. Mm -hmm. Very selective. You understand the definitions of the words. You don't just say things because it fits. Right. Or it's you. <laughs> you understand <laughs> when you speak, you're speaking energy, you're speaking power in your words. We don't get that. Yes, we don't again going back to what i said earlier we have this we take things for granted mm -hmm. take, uh you know so eh, it is what it is but I, I love him i think he's great i listened to a lot of his lectures and, and watched him in a kind of a quasi debate forum debate setting he's very brilliant Kansu, and, and you know they fear black men like that yes they do man black intelligentsia you got a problem yeah. with that indeed yeah man so look man let's listen to the king let's listen to what the man said at the funeral this is gonna go viral guys but you heard it first right here on wmlr brother 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 man let's go ahead and venerate the king man let's let's oh man this 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 gonna be one of my new favorite speeches king michael dyson y'all wmlr Then in that belly of blackness in Detroit, without apology or excuse, that embrace of her blackness led her to be political. We got all kind of music now that ain't got nothing to do with nothing except cars and money and glory. I ain't mad at that, but she was about getting Angela Davis out of jail. 
She was about working with Martin Luther King Jr. and Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. She was about transforming the existence of black America. Now Negroes scared to say they black. Scared to show up at a two black place. That's why some black folk ain't here today. They sending letters. They don't want to get up in this blackness. They don't want to feel the nasty power of this blackness. We are black in Detroit. We don't care. Take your shoes off. Dip it in the water. Get baptized. And then this orange apparition had the nerve to say she worked for him. You lugubrious leech. You dopey doppelganger of deceit and deviance. You lethal liar, you dim-witted dictator, you foolish fascist. She ain't worked for you. She worked above you. She worked beyond you. Get your preposition right. Then he got the nerve to say he going to grab it. That ain't what Aretha Franklin said. I'm going to give you something you can feel. Like the brothers in the street say, tap lightly, like a woodpecker with a headache. And so, don't you sully the memory of our great cream. Aretha Franklin was Say an original. Say it. Never one like her Tell before, never another <laughs> like her afterward. She was bold and brilliant and courageous and beautiful and indebted to the traditions that spark our renewal. She refused to sell out. She remained herself all along in her life. And so as I take my seat, you got to remember, Aretha Franklin gave us something deep and powerful. Hmm. When she made her transition, Farrah Jasmine Griffin, the professor at Columbia, said she was doing work even after she died. When she made her transition, convictions came down. Immunity pleas were made. Folk got sent to jail. Even as an ancestor, she doing work. She moved from being the queen of soul to the queen of souls. She is indeed looking over us as our ancestor, never forgetting that she will walk with us. I had to go the other day from South Bend, Indiana, into Chicago, leaving Notre Dame, going to Chicago to speak. My ticket said the plane left at 4.33, but it arrived at 4.20. I had landed before I took off. If you ain't already at where you going, you ain't gonna be there when you arrive. You got to already know where you heading. Aretha Franklin ain't just made no transition. She been building up her housing Come equity on. in another place Come on. with another God mm. who loved her soul. She was already mm. there. She said a prayer for us. She loved us. And now she is the queen of our souls. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Man, oh. look. <laughs> wow. Wow. It, that is the speech of the year, guys. That that right there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That That's right there. Cool. 
Hey, I say, man. I say. That's a chills up my spine, up my back, man, for real. He made uh, two. He made the. Did you hear the Obama reference? Mm, I don't mm. know. A lot of people didn't catch it. Mm. He stated that I am not going to honor my queen by sending in letters mm. of my absenteeism. Mm. Because Barack Obama and Michelle Obama sent the letter saying they couldn't make it. Mm, mm, mm. And he called them out for that. And then he called out the orange apparition. Orange apparition. <laughs> the foolish fascists. And why didn't and Michelle go to this funeral? I hey, mean, man, hey. we know what it was. We know what it was. But at the same, shouldn't they have been? I mean, he should. They, they should have been there. That doesn't even. Wow. They have an obligation to be there. Absolutely. You have an obligation. Absolutely. She <laughs> sang at his inauguration for crying out loud. He chose her and wanted her there. And y'all can't put down what you're doing to go and honor this woman. You Knowing that everybody is expecting you to be there. So you can't thrust yourself in the limelight and then not want to deal with the responsibilities of said limelight. Right. Right. They should been there man Barack and Michelle should have been there and if Barack didn't want to go Michelle should have had been there anyway that she should have been right there regardless wow that was powerful Kansu hey man hey Michael Dyson Mm -hmm. Prince team Mm -hmm. we appreciate you we applaud you I venerate you while you you are partaking of this holy breath of life and saying that we're gonna embrace this blackness. When I heard that man, it's like a, it, it just reverberated hearing him say, "Embrace your blackness. Mm. Be baptized in your blackness. Take your shoes off. That, Put your <laughs> in it." <laughs> Look, and, and Sean said the Obamas were at John McCain's funeral. That's even that makes it even worse. So. That that is not a good excuse, good enough excuse at all, and and you kind of I don't know I don't know man conspiracy theorists are going to run with this you already know they're going to run away. Oh with man, it. it's 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 down the field. They yeah. on Jim Brown this one. Yeah, they, they already down. know. <laughs> already know. Coon Award points. Going to get honorable mentions for the Coon Awards after this year because they should have been there. That's the bottom John- line. A man who blocked, who worked diligently to block any honoring or remembrance of Mar- Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's where you are? Wow. And you're not at Aretha Franklin's funeral? Wow. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I'm going to just leave it alone and leave it at that. All right, Kansu. <laughs> Got me feeling some kind Ooh. of Take it in, man. I'm going to take, yeah. take it in, man. But see, I, I, you know, I'm I'm in the finance, guys. My thing is political science. You know, I've said this. A lot of my own people, sometimes they look at me sideways when I speak, when they say what I say. Barack Obama didn't impress me. I appreciated the history that was right. being made. Right. The, 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 the stance for blackness in America that we held the presidency. But his legacy was marred with misappropriation of being black. He yes. did not identify himself as a black president. He identified himself as a middleman and a revisionist. He yeah. would not take a stand for black identity and black culture. Not when every other president would embrace, at least embrace their culture. Yeah. Regardless of skin color, they were proud of their culture. I never seen a president diffuse their culture for popular opinion and I felt right. that's what Barack did and I appreciate Michael Dyson I know he spoke the words of Aretha Franklin I know that the Aretha the elder Aretha Franklin was speaking through him when he spoke you can feel it you can tell you knew that he had a connection to her that's yes. when veneration is correct yes. when you speak to a person's character when they are crossing over to the afterlife uh-huh. This and is just it, so important. And again, focusing and pointing toward her social work, her cultural awareness, her her path of negrescence that she was on. 
I think at, at when as we get older, you know, you start to become more self-aware of things, and you now you're looking at your legacy. Jay Z made a song about it. Other people talk about it. You just spoke on it about your legacy. Your what are you leaving for your young, for your children? What That's are right. you leaving? What are you leaving behind? What are you setting up? That's what it's about: generational wealth. Uh, and, and being aware that our people need our own. We need to be able to have our own. Uh, and I just think when you, a lot of people didn't know that about Aretha. If they did, it, it, it was the same thing like with Sammy Davis Jr. We didn't learn about his social awareness until after he died. So, you know, you can't, it's hard to celebrate that about him and you don't really know. It's not being promoted. It's not being talked about. Rita Franklin was down for her people. She loved her people. She loved her Africanness. She was not afraid to, to say it and know it. We have got to get that mindset. We got to stop saying things like, oh, I'm staying out of the sun. I don't want to get no blacker. We got to stop saying that kind of ignorant shit. For real, man. <laughs> so I love the fact that, you know, she was like that. She was about Hotep, Patrick Hartford, Peace King. Uh, I love the fact that she was about that. So uh, we're going to truly miss her, but we're going to always honor her with her music. That's what she gave us. That's what she left us. And uh, we're going to appreciate her. Indeed. Definitely, and we, man. Her energy. Well, Absolutely. you know, we're going to take a quick break. Musical yeah. interlude. We're going to come back. Now, this this one here, man, I, I, this is another jam, man. Um, Barry White. Yes, happy September. Let me let me get this one in. Go ahead and drop it when you're ready, King. Let me talk this one up because it's September, damn it. Bless and peace to the September babies. It's Virgo season, and I'm feeling real good. Juliannuary is next Sunday. We on the nines, nine nine. I hope you are having fun. Today is your day. Happy Born Day. Happy V Day, and it's the most beautiful month of them all. This is just one of the theme songs for this magnificent month. September, Barry White, WMLR, More Life Radio. We'll be right back, family. Enjoy. Happy Saturday.
earlier. The need today is for black Africans who have been divinely called out and set apart for the particular purpose and or mission of liberating, resurrecting, and empowering other black Africans. The need today is for them to get serious about their assignment and stop being distracted and start bringing forth some fruit. That's the need today. But how are you going to bring forth fruit if you keep getting distracted? And how are you going to stop being distracted if you don't know what your assignment is? I challenge you today, brothers and sisters, what is your assignment? What did God put you on this planet for? Why did God let you come out of your mama's womb? Woo! Yes. Mixed and mastered by the one and only so who did the fly virgo <laughs> productions coming at you yes yes man Woo, man that was a jam barry white nice remix king great choice and of course the master teacher ray hagan yes man i love that clip by dr ray hagan's uh it's definitely inspiration and keeps me focused on my assignment my as you put it see that and that's how the energy works Kansu. This is what people need to understand about energy and how it works. It transfers. It never stays the same. It's constantly reformatting, reshaping, and reinventing itself like the universe. That's the connection, see? And once you understand that, then you allow yourself to make changes. You allow yourself to say, hey, I was, I'm wrong about this. Let me get out of my own way. I do this for myself. It's a daily practice for those of my Christian family out there that, that read the Bible and study what you pra and practice what you preach and apply it to your life. Paul talked about this very thing. It's a daily battle. It's not something you learn. Uh, when you start getting self-knowledge and you learn about your people, what your people contributed, what we did, I say we. So when you start learning about that, it's not just to learn about it, but it's about to apply the lessons. It's about applying the knowledge of Mayat, balance. Mm. So these are these are very important things, and it's a part of your assignment individually. Dr. Frances Cress Wilson said this last thing she said last last on oh, that on the interview about a, what we can do to change is look at yourself individually and be honest. Are you thinking conscientiously? Are you living conscientiously? Are you practicing it? Are you promoting it? Because it has to be done. It, we are in such a selfish nature and, and mode right now. We have to start understanding what our assignment is. So I love that clip by Dr. Ray Higgins. No doubt. Man, powerful, man. Powerful. Uh, you know, this was a really great show, guys. This show here was very, it was a lot to say in the hour that we that we've uh, promoted. I'm gonna say promoted because it was about being black. Yeah. You know, celebrating the queen. You know, for the last hour, man, we talked about her and gave her her due justice. Um, much respect to to the king of pop, the young yes. king, uh, Michael Jackson. Absolutely. Shout out to you on your born day, all the Virgos out there. Um, shout out to you, brothers and sisters. We love you so much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, now, y'all notice. I want them to. I want them to pay attention to how deep this thing goes. Right. Michael Jackson, fly Virgo status. Barry White, fly Virgo status. We we do this. How we do it? <laughs> it goes down like that. I hope y'all enjoy it. Have a great Saturday, man. I mean, um, I think yeah, it was powerful. I feel good giving honor to the Queen. A soul and uh, all our other great musicians, Prince, everybody that we've lost, we've lost a lot, man. Even Gerald Avert, you know, I hear a Gerald look Gerald Avert song, and it's like, wow, he's gone. You know what I mean? It's, right. it's amazing. So, man, yeah, man, uh, powerful. Man. Hey, shout out to all the students, all the kids getting ready to start school. And all of those, like my daughter, who's in school, and she's on her on her on her code, and I love it. All A's. Shout out to all the youth, 
uh, and, and sending out love, energy, and protection over our children out there uh, from the, the power of the ancestors and the most high creator, uh, keeping them covered with, with uh, protection out here. Our children are under attack and, um, you know, and, and, and peace to the parents, getting them ready. Shout out to the parents, getting them prepared, taking them out and shopping the money and, you know, trying to make them happy. You know, hey, shout out to the parents. If you if you're struggling, don't worry. You can only do what you can do. You know, just keep moving ahead. No, no backwards movements. That's all. That's all. Kansu, that's it for me, man. I'm, I'm going to turn it over to you, brother. I had a story, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to say I'm going to save it for Thursday night. Now, remember, the Thursday night show will be pre-recorded, so we we tweaking some things, right? We're trying to make sure we're giving you professional broadcasting at its finest. This is not a hobby. This is a brand. WMLR, More Life Radio, is a brand. And if you're rocking with us right now, you're getting on board at the right time because we're growing. This, what you see right now, is getting ready to change. We're going to tighten it up. So we thank you for your support. And uh, with that, I always say that I love you. And you know, whenever you feel like you're nearing the end of your rope, tie a knot, keep hanging, keep remembering that it ain't nobody bad like you. Not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, peace of power, everybody, man. We we love you guys. This was a great show. You know, a lot of energy. Um, We appreciate the elders, you know, uh, instilling words of wisdom that carry us through our shade to the grand queen, Aretha Franklin and her passing and moving on to the afterlife for the ever living. We love you, queen. We appreciate you as well. Thanks all the listeners out there that uh, really support WMLR and brother, brother, brother. We thank you very much, uh, very graciously and humbly. Uh, With that being said, everybody, peace, power, and love. Be about that, live that, be of it. She one and only Kansu Shesh Moamun, my brother Tahuti, the Fly Virgo. We do what we do, y'all. And we love y'all very much. And we appreciate y'all, man. So keep doing what you're doing, y'all. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>